What's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka GQ Saint. Back for another reaction video. It's gonna be another from IGN. Not watch, not watch Mojo. It's different. They're on list of top ten Resident Evil bosses. So who knows what to expect? Cause Resident Evil boss fights, yeah, there's some definitely some challenging ones. May I don't have a personal opinion like who's top best ones. I'm pretty sure I might agree with everything on this list. So. Let's not waste no time. Dive on to the video. Any special requests, drop a comment below. For those of you who don't know, I will be dropping a fan page pretty soon. You know, just to see. You can basically DM me, send me a message that way. Most likely, I'm going to do on Facebook only for that. I may be Twitter, but definitely Facebook. Anyway, for those of you also, guys, you haven't heard, which is you should by now, they're planning on remaking Resident Evil 4. Re I don't know how I feel about that. I don't want them to ruin it or kind of shorn things out like they did in resident evil 3 remake it's still a good game but they just cut so many stuff out yeah that's what i'm worried about because resident Evil 4 is still my opinion the best one to me yeah because introduced it was a better because not just leon my favorite character but still it's still the best one to me I don't know what to expect out of that one, though. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. How you feel about that? They're remaking Resident Evil 4 and pray they don't mess it up. Let's hope not. Anyway, talk too much. Let's go and dive on in, y'all. Those ain't watch. Memorable Look at encounters this. with monstrous bosses have been a core pillar of the Resident Evil franchise from the beginning. With the stellar remake of Nemesis recently released, we thought it was high time to take a look back at the series to find the yeah. top 10 Resident Evil bosses. That's good, y'all. The Ouroboros test subject makes it clear that Capcom had cooperative play in mind when making Resident Evil 5. The undulating mass of worms can take an extreme amount of punishment I hate for both these. players, which is satisfying to inflict thanks to the many bits of it that fly off when shot. But what really makes this encounter a standout is the environmental interaction. You'll need to work as a team to trap the shapeless creature in a furnace, with one player acting as live bait inside the forge and the other carefully controlling the doors. Just try That's not to lock way your to kill that thing. Come on, my brother. Yawn is the titanic result of T-Virus experimentation on a locally sourced mountain adder, and the first clue that Resident Evil had much more up its sleeve than just zombies. After seeing yeah. your comrade Richard Aiken devoured by the Spencer Mansion's version of Jormungandr, you're left to contend with tank controls and awkward camera angles in a fight for survival. By today's standards, Yawn isn't that impressive mechanically, but at the time, the giant snake was both instantly iconic and panic-inducing. The matriarch of the Baker family in Resident oh, Evil man, 7 commands an army of insects to try and stop the progress the Baker through the family. old house section of the game. In your first encounter with her, she Fun traps fact. you in a hole and swarms yeah, you I did pests. not play this VR. The trick is I'm getting like, her to fall no, in the hole not before climbing out yourself VR. and running like but hell. My, he of course, play that's this not game the end of Marguerite. That, your final Steve. fight with her is a tense showdown as you bumble around in the dark trying to finally finish her off with the very last of your ammo. Yeah. Almost. Up to the point you meet Del Lago in Resident Evil 4, you are just starting to get the hang of its over-the-shoulder gun-blasting mechanics. You've gunned down a few infected townspeople, a chainsaw maniac or two, and are feeling pretty guy. confident about what's to come. Then steel. you get to that a motorboat on a lake and meet me. Del Lago. The first huge boss in the game, you have to ditch your guns and take down the massive infected salamander with harpoons, timing your throws with the direction of the motorboat. It gets even more insane once the creature submerges and races towards you underwater, requiring you throw your harpoon with accuracy despite yeah, you your shaking hands. The sheer scale and cinematic nature of this boss fight was a sign that this was indeed a new breed of Resident Evil. The mighty El Gigante pits Leon Kennedy against a bipedal human this one too. in the first of several David and Goliath showdowns across the game. Much like your rumble with Del Lago, this boss fight has you constantly on your toes as you face a massive creature who, with few moves, can squash and or swallow you. Elegante True. insists you time your shots carefully, anticipating how much time you'll have before you can bolt again and I'm where he'll strike next. Trying to waste if you prepare don't, don't well shoot that thing, get up feet, there, climb. do well. If not, uh, you're awesome. going to have a bad time. And one unexpected perk is that this is the only time in the game where you have a dog companion fighting by your side. Hey, it's that dog. That is, if you oh. saved it from the bear trap. That was a, 
that's, that's my the wolf final right showdown there. with Mr. X or Tyrant over, over, is a satisfying one, but he earns a spot on this list because of his role in the rest of Resident Evil 2's 2019 remake. After you first encounter him early on in the campaign, he'll never stop chasing you, and you can't kill him even though he can be thwarted by certain doors. Still, avoiding motion-sensing liquors and even run-of-the-mill zombies gets yeah. a whole lot more challenging when you're being pursued by a seven-foot-tall, fedora-wearing assassin. Give me a break. He's massive, terrifying, persistent, stunned, and fundamentally yeah, alters kill. the way you think about That's navigating the RCPD That's the main stage. thing. If a lot more it's hard to looking. think of a more versatile Resident Evil boss fight than the one against Verdugo in Let's RE4. Go. This frighteningly quick monster stalks you through the sewers, appearing multiple times to try to kill you before the actual fight yeah. begins. When it does, you can kill Verdugo by dumping bullets, but the smarter move is to freeze it using liquid yeah, nitrogen tanks more that litter the area. Pro waste tip, ammo this thing. boss is an easy one-hit kill if you have a rocket launcher on hand. It's also entirely possible to evade Verdugo long enough to make it through the fight without killing it at all. Lisa Trevor is perhaps the most tragic character in all of Resident Evil lore. The depressing story of her abduction, transformation, and abuse was a new addition to the 2002 remake of Resident Evil, as was her terrifying boss fight. Using the tight space and camera angles to make you never quite feel in control, even if you're loaded up on ammo. During the final fight, you must avoid the monstrous tendra-addled Lisa as you push four chained boulders down to the pit below to reveal her mother's coffin. Lisa throws herself off the edge upon seeing her mother's faceless corpse in a chilling climax. Yeah, I, I kind of felt bad about that. Dr. William Birkin reluctantly William injects Birkin. himself with the G-Virus to pull through injuries received during a standoff with Alpha Team over the virus itself. He ultimately survives in the short term, but at a terrible cost. You'll fight Dr. Birkin or G many times during Resident Evil 2's remake, and each time he's more monstrous and less in control than the last. These encounters are tense, mechanically distinct, and tie seamlessly into a compelling narrative. And we'd be lying if we said that half the fun of every fight wasn't seeing what strange, new, horrible mutation had taken root. Yeah. Resident Evil 3's Nemesis is one of the series' Nemesis. scariest enemies for the simple reason that it isn't meant to be defeated. This seemingly invincible model of tyrant could appear at any time during the, the game, insisting you fight or flee at the drop of a hat. And stuff. Nemesis made RE3 and its subsequent 2020 remake exciting and dynamic, even though the encounters sometimes occurred at set locations. Nemesis's persistence was key to making the final boss fight, where you finally do kill him, the most cathartic in the entire franchise. That does it for our list, but what did we miss? Sound off in the yeah. comments, and for all things Resident Evil, keep it right Robert here Wesker. on IGN. Cool video. Once again, that's our own personal list. Pretty sure you guys believe they missed out on some couple bosses. Yeah, I still have other bosses that I kind of enjoy fighting, but still, that's our own personal list. And you guys think they let out some very cool, like I said, Wesker. Some bosses in uh, Cole Veronica. Krauser, I like that boss. And, yeah, Jack Krauser, but still, who knows what to expect. Anyway, pretty cool video. Let me know anything in the comments below. Let me know what you react to in the future. Let me know. Yeah, give you a like, comment, subscribe. Sorry again, tongue tight, y'all. Anyway, have a fantastic day. Despite what's going on, keep your head up. We can beat this coronavirus, y'all. Stay positive and stay strong. Peace.